Schrodinger's cat is a thought experiment and it goes like this. If I take a box and in it I put a radioactive source which is somehow linked to a flask of poison. Now when the radioactive source decays it's going to release the poison. What if I were then to put a cat in that box and put the lid on it? Now Schrodinger argued that because the radioactive source is made of atoms and it's dictated by quantum mechanics and because we're not observing it with the lid on the top then it will be in a state of superposition. It will be decayed and not decayed at the same time. But of course that's going to have implications on the cat, meaning the cat will be both dead and alive at the same time. And it's only when you take the lid off of the box, make an observation that the wave function collapses and you find out which one it actually is. Now that sounds absurd, but that's what quantum mechanics says, and it highlights some of the problems with our interpretation of quantum mechanics. I mean, what actually is an observer? Could the cat be considered an observer, or does it have to be a human being? What causes the wave function collapse? And also, how does, say, the world of atoms, like the radioactivity, then scale up when you put lots of them together to resemble the world that we know around us? People have tried to answer these questions. We haven't quite got the definitive answer yet, so I'm afraid, for the moment, Schrodinger's cat is still both dead and alive at the same time.